Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about evaluating functions, and we're going to evaluate each function. So, if I was given this function, g of n is equal to n to the third minus 5n squared, and we need to find g of negative 4. So, every single time we see an n, we need to plug in a negative 4n. So, g here of negative 4n is equal to that n right there. So, we have negative 4n right there to the third power minus 5 times negative 4n to the second power. All right? So, now we need to simplify this. Okay? Well, <clears throat> g of negative 4n, we just rewrite that down here, is equal to... So we have negative 4 into the third power. Well, what we need to do is, okay, negative 4 to the third power is a negative uh, 64. Right? Negative 4 uh, uh, times negative 4 is a positive 16, and positive 16 times negative 4 is a negative 64. And the third power also goes down to the n, so we have n to the third power right there. So now we have uh, subtracting by 5 times, okay, Negative 4 into the second power. Well, negative 4 times 4, uh, sorry, negative 4 times negative 4 is a positive 16. And we have n squared, or like n times n is n squared. So now we need to simplify this a little more. We still can distribute that 5 across. So we have g here of negative 4n. We bring down the negative 64 n to the third power. And then we have the minus. Well, 5 times 16 is 80. So we have 80 here, n squared. And so our final answer here, there's nothing more that we can combine, there's no like terms, is g of negative 4n is equal to a negative 64 n to the third minus 80 n squared. So let's recap. We're given g of n is equal to n to the third minus 5 n squared. And we need to define g of negative 4 n. Well, I plug in negative 4 n for every single n value. Right there, right here, and right there giving us negative 4n to the third minus 5 times negative 4n squared. Simplify that. Negative 4n to the third is negative 64n to the third, and negative 4n squared is 16, positive 16n squared. We then had to multiply 5 times 16, which was 80. I'm going to minus 80 right there. So simplified all the way down, our final answer here is g of negative 4n is equal to a negative 64n to the third minus 80n squared. 